Hi Year 6, happy Monday to you all and welcome to your English video for today. So if you try and think back to last Monday, then you'll remember we had a challenge for you which basically was an image and then around the outside of the image we were writing down any words, phrases or descriptive sentences that describe that image. We're going to do the same thing today with the next image for our story. So I'm going to show you the picture and then I'm going to talk you through a few examples of how we can do that effectively. Here's your image for today, so Monday the 1st of February 2021. And as you can see, the image for today, to continue our story, is of a man you can see right at the end, near the light, in a cave. Now, I want you to think about using your senses again with this image. What can you see? What can you hear? What can you smell? What can you taste? What can you feel using all those senses to help you describe being in this situation? OK, those words, phrases and sentences that you're able to come up with using your senses, imagining you're there, are really going to help you as we move forward and write the next part of our story. Our success criteria is as follows. So it's the same as last time. We are describing the story scene. So we've got to imagine that you're in the picture. You have to close your eyes and use all your senses to imagine the scene. You need to write words, phrases, sentences to describe the scene so that um, someone can build the same picture in their head as you've got. OK, so it's imagine that you're in the picture, close your eyes and use all your senses to imagine the scene and write words, phrases and sentences to describe the scene so that someone else can build the same picture in their head. And that's really going to help us. So that's just your, your success criteria. Having listened to the success, success, I can't say that properly today. <laughs> Having listened carefully to the success criteria, now look at the picture again and really try and imagine yourself in this cave, okay, and what it would feel like to be there. So take a good long look and then shut your eyes and imagine you are there alone in that cave. Once you've done that, you will have a picture in the middle of your page, like before, a smaller version of the cave, and you'll add some descriptive phrases, words and sentences around it. I've given you a few more examples for today, and potentially you could use a thesaurus, uh, a descriptosaurus if you've got one, to really help and try and put as many ideas around. Some of you last week only put a couple. The more you've got, the better. So I've started you off with a few but what I don't want to see is just my ones and then that sent in I'd like to see mine and other ones added you don't even have to use mine if you don't want to they're just some examples to start with so I've got dark and cold and then I said I longed to escape it was like it was lonely and desolate it was a deep crevice eternal darkness lays deep beneath the glimmer of light so again, you can see I've just put some words, some phrases, some small sentences. I made a little mistake there. It was lonely and desolate. I didn't need a capital L on my L for lonely. So make sure you're not making the same mistakes as Mr. Warman has. So dark and cold, lonely and desolate, a deep crevice. I longed to escape. Eternal darkness lays deep beneath the glimmer of light. There are a few examples that I've got for you. Make sure that you revisit the picture regularly. Make sure you show other people in your house, on your home, the picture. See what they think. Imagine you're there. Shut your eyes. Use your senses. What can you see? What can you smell? What can you hear? What can you feel? What can you touch? What can you taste? All of those things, imagine you're right there in the cave and ask anyone else at home to have a look too and say how they would feel if they were there. What is it like? Describe it to me. 
to complete this then, we have obviously given you the picture and given you some examples and given you the su success criteria. I'm really struggling on that today. Success criteria, I'll put my teeth in in a minute. And um, what I'd like you to do is really try your best on that. Some of you last week really nicely decided to um, draw your own cave and then write down all the different uh, descriptive phrases, words and sentences around that. If you'd like to do that, that'd be great. We'd like to see those come in. So this is what's available to you on the school website. So you'll have a picture of the image to look at and then you'll have this. So you could always print that off if you needed to as well. So to confirm then year six, you're doing basically the same sort of task that you did last week, but this is going to enable us to take our story further. So it's a new image. Uh, we'd like you to try and improve upon what you did last week. So some of you um, only wrote a few sentences down or a few words. So try and write as many as you can, because that will really help in the planning process when writing your paragraphs. So the more ideas you can put in there, if you can use a descriptor source, if you have one to hand, if you can look in a thesaurus, so any words, so you might look at dark and cold and try and find different words, for example. You might look at escape or feeling trapped, lonely, desolate, all those examples that I gave you. If you try and find different words for those as well and put them into sentences, that would be fantastic and a great starting place for you as we move forward throughout the week. I really look forward to seeing what you come up with. Some of you, like I said, may well draw an image of a cave and then write down your phrases, your sentences, uh, your words all around the outside. That's great, I look forward to seeing those come in. You have a wonderful day, Year 6. Take care, and I look forward to seeing your work very, very soon. Bye-bye.